Boy, Javon McKinney back here with another video for you guys today. I'm bringing you the juice alert. Today, guys, we're going to be talking about the college football rankings most recently that came out Tuesday. Um, some of my thoughts on it, some of the flaws I think that were made. Um, you know, some teams I think should be ranked and that are not ranked. And, um, you know, just overall, mainly about Ohio State-Oklahoma debate as well. Um, I'm going to talk about all those things. Tomorrow, I will post a video talking about um, who I think will win their conference games um, and who's probably going to get in the playoffs. But... Before we get into this, shout out to Jack Nassif and Brendan Cato. Jack Nassif shout me out on Twitter. You already know. I um, appreciate that. <clears throat> Brendan Cato has also been looking for a shout out um, because he's been supporting the channel a whole lot. Shout out to him. Thank you for supporting. But we're going to get right into it, guys. First of all, um, you know, there's rankings are always going to be flawed, guys. But to me, these are just the six best teams based on talent that I've seen alone. These are not who I put in the playoffs, you know, based on this order. But, you know, as far as talent goes, I would say Alabama, um, Clemson, um, Georgia, Ohio State, Oklahoma, and Notre Dame are the six best teams in order based on talent and roster. Now, those are obviously not the best teams, in my opinion, based on where they should be in the playoffs. But those are the best teams to me, like, as far as it goes. Now, real quick, I wanted to say that, you know, I'm going to get this out of the way. Um, West Virginia, to me, is being undervalued in these rankings. Um, you know, they're below Texas right now. Texas is number 14. I believe West Virginia is, like, number 16. How do you not have, um, you know, West Virginia over um, Texas? It doesn't make any sense. They beat them head-to-head. -head. They both have three losses. Committee, what are you doing? Are you trying to prop, prop up Oklahoma because, you know, they play this weekend again, trying to boost their resume a little bit? I don't know, but you can't explain to me that at all. It just doesn't make any sense. Now, um... Also, Northwestern dropped two games. You know, the same the team Ohio, that Ohio State's playing, and they just won. How do you drop two games and you just win a game? I don't understand. How do you drop two spots and you just won a game? I don't understand Another thing, that. guys, I wanted to point to is that um, Kentucky has 9-3. Florida, 9-3. and three. And guess who's ranked ahead of Kentucky? The Florida Gators. And guess who beat the Florida Gators? Soundly. In Florida. Kentucky. I mean, committee, like, you guys can say, oh, you're, you're biased or whatever. Okay, that's fine. I don't really care, honestly. But, guys, I'm being fair to all these teams. Like, you know, I think Kentucky's getting screwed over. Head-to-head -head has to matter, just like it has to matter when West Virginia um, played Texas. I mean, it doesn't make any and sense. That, committee. You know, I'm gonna, that just doesn't make sense to me. And also, Missouri, to me, just doesn't – I don't think they should be ranked right now. Um, you know, Missouri, they have no ranked wins on the year. They've – gotten dominated by every good team they play you know they had the close game with kentucky but to me oregon appalachian state and utah state should be considered being ranked over them um you know guys i'm not just gonna like give you the top teams or whatever i gotta give you objective stuff like that it matters because also you know missouri's in there that's gonna help alabama and georgia's resume now i'm not saying oh the committee's handing them resume things no but it matters because if you're putting in teams that i don't think should be ranked it's affecting the resume. So, like I said, I just don't – Missouri, you know, Utah State, they were ranked early in the year. They had the one loss. They have two losses in the year, but I still think it should be, they should be ranked over Missouri. Um, you know, Appalachian State, who went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Penn State early in the year. Also, Utah State went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Michigan State, too. At the time, that was the first game of the year. They were number 11 in the country, riding high. So, like I said, those are just – and Oregon as well. Oregon has a ranked win this year. Missouri, no ranked wins. But we're not even going to get into that a whole lot. Those are just some of the little flaws, but – I'm going to talk about Ohio State and Oklahoma debate because that's really what this is mainly going to boil down to and some of the flaws the committee is bait on. I don't understand why um, Ohio State is being under Oklahoma right now after they just dominated Michigan. They won by 23 points. Now, the committee in the past, you know, they're going based off what – they're going against what they've done. The committee's not being consistent, you know, this year alone, okay? LSU, number 13 when they played Georgia. Georgia's number two. They beat them by 20 points. Guess what? When the first college football playoffs come out, LSU ranked one spot below Georgia at number three, and they were ahead of an undefeated Notre Dame. They had one loss at the time. Okay, committee, you want to do that? That's fine. I mean, but, you know, you got to be consistent. Why is Ohio State, after beating Michigan by more points than LSU beat Georgia, is not ranked one spot below them? They ranked two spots below them. You have to critique this because this is playoffs we're talking about. There's only four spots available. I don't understand it. And even last year, you know, Auburn beats Alabama. Number six, Auburn versus number one, Alabama. Auburn beats them. They have two losses, and they lost. Listen, offensively, they played Clemson that year. They didn't look like they were on the same field with Clemson, okay? And they also, you know, um, beat. You know, they lost to LSU. They lost to Troy. Troy. And you're putting, first of all, they were, you know, that you put them number two, and they have two losses over Oklahoma, who beat, you know, 
Ohio State that year. I just don't understand that, but, you know, that's that's a story for another day. The committee's being inconsistent with, you know, Alabama. They Auburn beat Alabama by 12 points, you know. Ohio State just beat Michigan by 23 points, and they're not ranked one spot below where they were. Even last year, you know, Miami. And, again, guys, I could go through a lot of these hypotheticals where teams are ranked and things like that, but I'm not going to go through all of them because I have to get to my arguments, and this video has to be a little shorter just for viewers and all that stuff. But, um, you know, even last year, Miami goes out. They're number seven. Notre Dame's number three. They beat Notre Dame 41-8. to eight. Notre Dame fans, how would you feel about that? But I'm really not going to talk about that. Um, Yeah, they're ranked number three the next week. They're not two spots below where Notre Dame was. It doesn't make sense to me. I don't understand. I understand Ohio State the bad loss. We're going to get into all that. Ohio State should not be below Oklahoma. I'm sorry. Ohio State flat out just has better wins. And I'm going to defend my team, Ohio State. You can say I'm biased or not, but these are facts, okay, that I'm going to throw at you. These are facts. So, you know, Ohio State just flat out has better wins. They beat a number four team at the time, Michigan, and who is a top seven team right now according to the committee. And they also beat Penn State on the road, who's a number 12 team in the country right now. West uh, Oklahoma beat number 16, West Virginia, and number 24, Iowa State. Is that a better resume? No, it's not. That's facts. That's not a better resume. I don't understand it. And you can point to, okay, they lost by 29 to Purdue. Okay, I get it. But you're not looking at the wins. You're just looking at the loss. I don't understand it. I, and Oklahoma, you know, you lost to a ranked Texas team. Not a whole lot of shame of that. It was on a neutral site field, so it's not like it was on the road. Ohio State lost on the road, a true road game. That was not a true road game. That was a neutral site field. Um, so, yeah, like I said, um, Oklahoma, you know, look, there's been a lot of things saying Oklahoma strength schedule is better than Ohio State. There's been some re websites where I looked at and said, you know, Ohio State's played a better schedule than Oklahoma. To me, Ohio State has played a better schedule than Oklahoma, but that's not what I'm, I'm going to talk about. I'm going to talk about the teams and how they played in their uh, stuff. So, Ohio State... You know, I'm going to go based off ranked wins at the time. You know, they played them. And I'm going to even do this with Oklahoma. Oklahoma, you played Texas when they were ranked. You lost. You played West Virginia when they were ranked. You lost. No, you didn't lose. You won the game. I'm sorry. Um, Ohio State, when they played ranked teams. When they played Penn State when they were ranked, they won. That was on the road. They won. They beat Michigan State on the road by 20, by 20 points when they were ranked. That's a win. You know, they beat... Um, TCU when they were ranked um, and TCU at that time was scoring 45 points per game so that was a different TCU team TCU still has made a bowl game so and they played some tough teams this year. I'm not going to argue TCU is great okay don't come at me for that I'm just telling you that based on where they were at right at the time they were ranked by the committee so you have to take, you have to take that into account you know last year Alabama played Florida State when they were number three and they were talking about that was a great win they're not going to talk about the Florida State that was terrible after that after they lost DeAndre Francois you have to look at Alabama and say, oh, they played a Florida State team when they were at full strength and when they were sweet, okay? You have to look at that. So, Ohio State has two current ranked wins and has played and won four ranked wins in total on the year. And Oklahoma, you know, you're one and one in games when teams are currently ranked. And, like I said, Ohio State is 4-0. Now, Oklahoma's beaten Iowa State, who's now ranked. By the time, Iowa State, Iowa State was not ranked. Also, like I said, Oklahoma. Ohio State has played better defenses, okay? Oklahoma, you have the number one offense in the league. I get it. But when you play an Army, who, had a, who was number 16 defensively, you only scored 28 points. When you played um, Iowa State, they held you to 13 points under your average, you know? And that was not a good Iowa State team at the time. Iowa State, number 37 ranked defensively. I'm bringing that up because they're the only good defenses they played, okay? You know, Ohio State... They played Michigan, they played Michigan State, they played Penn State. Those are all better defenses than Oklahoma's played all year. I'm just flat out being serious, okay? You know, so that's another reason. Ohio State has played better defenses, and the committee's not been consistent, okay? Winning big has to matter, guys. You know, I even said in the video, I would potentially put Oklahoma over Ohio State if they beat West Virginia and Ohio State barely beats Michigan, but they blew them out. You have to look at that. That erases that 29-point loss to Purdue, in my opinion, you know? The way they beat them, the number one defense, okay? Michigan, number one defense, hung 63 on them. I don't understand it, you know? Why are you not, and based on what you, the committee, have done with your consistency in ranking teams after they beat teams like that? And also, you know, you want to go off, off a hypothetical, you know, people are saying, oh, there's no way Ohio State wins. They're going to lose by three scores. And I kept telling you guys, they have not played a good 
Michigan's not played a good offense all year. They just hadn't. Oklahoma has not played a good defense all year as far as, like, teams that actually matter. So if they're going to play Alabama, Clemson, Notre Dame in the playoffs, you're telling me they're not going to be exposed? I think they will. I think Ohio State gives Alabama a better game than Oklahoma does. I'm sorry. That's just how I feel. And I just gave you the facts. And also, Oklahoma, your defense sucks, okay? You're 100th in the country in points per game. You know, 100th and 11th right now in yards per game allowed. Ohio State right now is a top 50 defense in the country. Also a top 7 offense. So, you know, that outlies that. And, like I said, Ohio State showed me they can consistently play defense. If Oklahoma play any of the teams outside of Notre Dame, I think they get exposed. In the top 5, I think they get exposed. I think they lose to Ohio State. I think they lose to Georgia. I think they lose to Alabama. I think they lose to Clemson. Based on these facts and things I've given you. And... Not only have those opponents showed they can stop teams way better than Oklahoma, Oklahoma wouldn't stop a lick. Like I said, Oklahoma, Ohio State, Clemson, Alabama, Georgia have just as good, if not better, athletes than Oklahoma. They could run up and down the field and them and score a bunch of points. I'm sorry. And, you know, like I said, Ohio State has played better defenses than Oklahoma has. And the Big Ten is better than the Big 12. So, you know, you can bring up, okay, Ohio State, you won by one point versus uh, Maryland. Okay, that's fair. Oklahoma, you won by one point versus Oklahoma State. You don't have a marquee win. You just don't, okay? You know, you barely beat Texas Tech. You were struggling versus Kansas. You know, you can say the same thing about Ohio State, but Ohio State has the signature wins and the better resume, and it's shown me they can play better defense, and they've blown teams out. And based off the consistency of the committee, where they rank teams after they win, it's flawed. I'm sorry. I just had to expose these things. And, you know, I think I pretty much got into everything, but... You know, okay, like I said, I'm just going to go over these points one more time. Why I think Ohio State should be ranked over Oklahoma in the playoffs. You know, Ohio State just flat out has better wins. They have four way better wins than Oklahoma. Winning big has to matter. Ohio State has shown me they can blow out a good team. You know, Oklahoma has shown me they struggle versus some of these teams a little bit. The committee is not consistent, as I said, with West Virginia being ranked below Texas, who they beat. Also with Oregon not being ranked, Appalachian State. Utah State being ranked over Mississippi over Missouri, and where teams win if teams win where they're at after that, you know, Ohio State's not getting fair treatment here, guys. I'm sorry, and you know, Ohio State has shown they consistently play defense. Don't even compare it; their defense is better. Ohio State has played better defenses and it still has one loss and has blown some teams out. Also, real quick, Oklahoma has not scored 77 points on the year. Ohio State has; they're not allowed three points on the year. Ohio State has, you know, defensively, Ohio State's better, and they're almost as good on offense. I'm sorry. You know, those are just some of my thoughts, guys. You know, your opinion is just as good as mine. There's definitely an argument to be made for Oklahoma over Ohio State, but these are my arguments, guys. Um, you know, feel free to comment. Tell me why I'm wrong. Tell me why I'm right. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It's been your boy, Javon McKinney. New video out tomorrow. And